Hey, good afternoon, good morning, everybody. This is the Reservation Homesteader. If you haven't been on my channel before, every week I try to do something that's going on in my homestead. I like to go over current events. Um, and so I guess I'll kick it off with uh, kind of current events, what's going on here locally. So here locally, we're in September. Well, actually, no, we're in October now. Um, it's finally cooled down, we're in the 90s. So that's a huge, uh, temperature decrease from what it was maybe just even two weeks ago um, so that makes life a lot easier I can work longer you know right now I'm outside it's I'm not you know sweating up a storm it's perfect out um, the other thing that's going on is uh, um, we still have the uh, you know inflation and it's inflation is getting kind of crazy because uh, it's, it's almost suffocating the way I see what's going on to people is you know, you can make a great deal of money, but if you had, you know, a uh, lifestyle creep, you know, where you're like matching your, basically your income with your car payments and et cetera. And then all of a sudden now your uh, living expenses are going up, you know, it can really become suffocating. So I think you really have to be uh, aware of kind of what's going on and maybe find ways to decrease your costs. Um, um, in addition to that, you know, we're also seeing two huge financial institutions um, be in a really bad situation. I think kind of yesterday it kind of came to light and if what happens to them happened to Lehman Brothers, we could really see some bad things happening. Um, you know, mass layoffs, foreclosures, just a lot of bad things. Um, in addition, you know, 2008 was bad, but now we didn't have the inflation that we do now. So now imagine losing your job and you have to live off from what $500 unemployment a week or whatever your sake is you. That's not going to go far. People are going to get desperate. So, um, you know, just, uh, you know, like I said, keep your, your resume ready and keep cash available. So two things happened on my homestead this week. So first thing, um, I was driving to work. A woman actually got stuck in my canal. It was weird. I don't, I've never seen that happen before. I don't know really how it happened, but um, it did. So I was driving to work. I seen her like walking in the canal. So she wasn't drowning, but she was, you know, stuck in the canal. I just got to move my water around. Um, so she she did get stuck in the canal, and um, you know, first I was like, I. I was kind of surprised that she was still because I thought she could just climb up, but she was like uh, short and heavy enough where she would, you know, try to get out and she would just slide back in farther. So it, you know, it wasn't ideal for her. So I asked her if she needed help and she really did. So I was able to pull her out. But um, the lesson to this is um, that. You know, having a homestead, you're gonna run into situations like this, kind of weird situations. Um, you kind of have to be ready for it. You know, who would have thought like on a Tuesday morning at 8.15, I'd be pulling some lady up the ditch or the canal. <coughs> so, you know, that's why I like to keep a, a lasso around. Um, I keep to, like to keep things, you know, uh, bolt cutters available because you never know what's going to happen um, so that's one thing you know if you're on a homestead be you know be prepared for kind of weird things to happen you never know what's going to happen um, the other thing that's going on this week is you know since I'm the reservation homesteader we're having um, auctions tribal auctions so meaning that like our tribal government is auctioning off kind of like the governmental vehicles so Police cars, police trucks, um, equipment, um, cars they repossessed for whatever reason, drugs or I don't know, whatever reason. But they're auctioning them off and it's pretty cool because it's only for uh, tribal members. Only tribal members can, can purchase them. So, um, you know, I'm, I'm in the fortunate position where, you know, like I said in other episodes, I always believe in keeping some money available that, you know, I have cash to participate, so, um, you know, this can really be a, a good thing for my, my homestead, meaning that, you know, who knows, maybe I could get another uh, 
truck, another pickup truck, or I could um, pick up a, a passenger vehicle that I could resell and, you know, buy some more equipment for. But, you know, the, the key to this is just, you know, have the ability or keep keep some savings, just, you know, not only for the, the um, recession or the bad times that we may run into, but also, you know, for good things like, um, you know, opportunities that may become available to you. So that's all I have this week. Um, hope everybody has a good week. If you like my channel, subscribe and add some comments.